up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So today we're gonna be discussing if you can live in Vietnam for under a thousand dollars a month. So right now I am just at home. I just finished up some work this morning. I'm gonna head out to grab a coffee with my girlfriend here. So we're gonna take you guys along. We'll break down my monthly cost in terms of rent, Wi-Fi, electricity, phone, gas, and then we will see how much we have left over to create a daily budget. So let's take you guys along and let's go meet up with Francis for a tea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, highly cam. So, I got my orange juice freshly squeezed, and guess how much the cost of it is? Twenty k per drink. So we got two because Francis is with me right now. So that's a dollar, under a dollar US for two freshly squeezed orange juices right in the morning. You do pay to not be in a cafe because the drinks are so cheap. So we're basically sitting in plastic stools, tables, but it's super comfortable here. We're looking out into the street, we're people watching, we're in some shade because it is also really hot here in Ho Chi Minh City right now. We're just gonna finish up our drinks here before we head over to grab some lunch at one of my favorite spots here in Ho Chi Minh City in this little area called Taudian that I live in. They always have this lunch special that is super, super cheap for how much food that you get and it's mm, just so delicious. Now, I don't always eat Vietnamese food, but you can cut costs by eating street Vietnamese food all over the city. This meal that we're about to get is slightly more expensive, but only by a dollar or two dollars. So it's still within my budget for how much I want to spend on my lunches. So we're going to finish up with drinks and then take you guys along to lunch with us. Uh, yeah, we're going to eat here. Uh, can we get two of the um, chicken lunch special, please? Francis loves this meal right here. It's my favorite. So guys, we just arrived here at one of my favorite restaurants here in Ho Chi Minh City called Sagar. They sell really, really, really delicious Indian cuisine for such an amazing price. Like the set lunch menu is 89K VND. So that works out to be about $3.92 USD for such a huge a meal. Food. It's a lot of food. And me and Francis come here probably two or three times a week because one is cheap and two you get a lot of food with it. And yes, you can cut costs by eating Vietnamese food, which is about 30 to 50k per meal. But we decided to be in a little bit extra and a little bit bougie today and spend the extra dollar fifty <laughs> <laughs> on a much nicer lunch. But again, you can still get delicious Vietnamese food for cheaper, but we decided to take you guys somewhere outside of Vietnamese cuisine today. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Yay. Thank you. Here. As you can see here, I got some balsami rice, some butter chicken, um, some gobi, and that's like cauliflower, potatoes, peas, and whatever they do to it to make it brilliant. We got this. I don't know exactly what this Papadong. is here. What? Papadong. Papadong. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have some yogurt with like vegetables and egg, garlic, and then we have the all amazing naan bread. Some butter, garlic, naan bread. And all of this was $3.92 US. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So let's eat up. What's your name on TikTok? Um, so I'm making a YouTube video, and it, uh, my name on it is Lost with T. Hot Lake City. Where is this? In America. Oh, in America. And Utah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who is this? That's my ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> not her, not me. No, not, not her. Yeah, because she's uh, fat and you know her. Oh! <laughs> 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 hear that, ex? You're chubby. <laughs> Guys, we just finished up lunch so before we head home let's stop by the local vietnamese market here where you can buy meat and vegetables and show you how cheap it is 
to buy groceries here in Vietnam as well. But first, I gotta stop by an ATM to get cash because cash is king at these markets and let's find out how cheap it is. So they don't have so they don't have any broccoli or cauliflower, but that's okay. I'm gonna pick up maybe a half pound of potatoes just to show you guys how much it costs. Small no way. Huh? No. She's telling me I paid her with a like big 500. Ding long wa. Ding loi, ding loi. Yeah, I only spent 30k, so really, really cheap for potatoes, and that's about maybe a dollar fifty US. I'll have the exact amount right down in the bottom there, but I paid with the largest bill that they have here, so she had to give me a lot of change. Ah, come on, you go, go, you my bang, my dad guy, wow! Trời ơi, có chồng chưa? Chồng đây hả? Cũng đẹp trai, cũng đẹp trai quá trời! Come on, yeah. Alright guys, time to head back. Alright guys, so welcome back. We are in my house right now. So, we are going to be breaking down my monthly cost of things that I need to pay for in order to be able to get around or survive in Vietnam. So, my monthly cost for rent is about 6.7 million VND per person. So, I split this cost with my girlfriend, which makes it really, really, really cheap. And that works out to be about $293 each person USD per month. And let me tell you guys something. We also had it even cheaper than that. We were split the cost at one point when we had three roommates in this house and this office area that you guys are looking at now was actually a room we we're splitting the cost three ways but for this month it would be 293 dollars per month for my portion of the rent that includes my water that includes my management fee because i live in a building that has a pool a gym and maids and stuff like that so moving on to my phone my service provider in vietnam is called Vinaphone. i pay about 100k vnd which is about four dollars and 90 odd cents us per month i have unlimited data so that's great because all the apps you use to message, call, and text people all use data. So you don't need any minutes and you don't need to text via that way. You'll use WhatsApp, you use Zalo to get a hold of people here in Vietnam. So my phone plan, super, super cheap for the month. And lastly, another big cost that I have to pay for monthly is my health insurance. So I pay about $150 US every three months. I, it says that I have coverage in not only Vietnam, but Bangladesh, Burma, Myanmar, Cambodia, India, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Philippines, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Thailand, and Vietnam. And I'm covered up to a maximum of 200,000 US dollars and also covers me for COVID here as well. So I did buy the insurance, the private health insurance here in Vietnam, but it covers me for when I travel to other Southeast Asian countries. And the company I go with is A Plus International Healthcare. So be sure to check them out but again, relatively cheap and you don't wanna be stuck in a pinch where you're injured and you do not have coverage. So let's quickly break down this cost. So I have, my rent was $293. I'm gonna add on my health insurance, which is another $50, plus my uh, phone bill, which is $4.38. And again, guys, my housing fee covers water, internet, electricity, all under that $293. And then, that brings my total to $347.38. So if I subtract that from 1,000, that leaves us with $652.62 that we can spend for the rest of the month. And say there's 30 days in a month, I'll divide that by 30. It means I can spend $22 each and every single day to meet my $1,000 budget living in Vietnam. And so far today, we haven't really spent that much money. I went out for a big, delicious, and cheap lunch, and that was $3.93. And then I picked up a pound of potatoes from the local market on the way home, and that costed me $1.31 US. And when we add those two together, I've spent $5.24 today. We still have like 16, $17 left to spend, and that's more enough. So guys, I'm gonna catch up on some work here, and then um, in a little bit here, we're gonna get some more food before I have to head out to work. So I'll take you guys along with that. So you guys are probably wondering, 
Tony, why does it look like you're in Singapore? So I have taken you guys out for a late lunch before work. I needed something a little bit small just to fill up my stomach so I don't get hungry during my class tonight. But I took you guys to one of my favorite parks here in Ho Chi Minh City. And this is probably the nicest park in Vietnam. Millions and millions of dollars went into this stunning park right here. And it's just one of the nicest neighborhoods here in Ho Chi Minh City as well. There are skyscrapers, palm trees. There's this big pond I'm looking at right now with tons, thousands of koi fish. This place is unreal. So it's actually called uh, Vin Homes Park and it is owned by the Vin Group, a billionaire corporation here in Vietnam. It is a super wealthy group of people. And better yet, if you want to come here, it is free. And since we are on a thousand dollar budget for the month and we're only allowed to spend $22 per day, let's find a nice little shaded spot to have a picnic here. I'll go over the cost of some things I picked up from the convenience store and we'll add that to our budget today. We've already spent $6.08. So that means we still have about $16 left to go. So let's break down these costs and let's find a nice spot in the shade because I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm disgustingly sweaty right now. All right, guys, let's see what I picked up from the convenience store a little bit earlier. So uh, I didn't need something too big for work because I was, I'm was i still kind of full from that really cheap um, brunch that I had earlier today. But I did pick up some of my favorite things from uh, Family Mart, one of the, lo the local convenience stores here in Ho Chi Minh or in Vietnam. But I got myself one of these Ga hoi nung mayo. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Japanese. I don't know if they actually make this kind of triangle sushi in Japan. I'm just talking out of my ass right now. Rice triangles. I got two of these bad boys here. I also picked up some la vie water and a jadao, so a peach tea from the store. And all of that together only rang me to 48 thousand VND. So that is only two dollars and eleven cents USD and I got two little snacks that will feed me until dinner time. I got a nice water and some peach tea here. So a quick thing I want to talk to you guys about is not every day is going to be a day where you can only spend $22. Of course you will be traveling in Vietnam so you gotta account for these other expenses. Maybe you need to go to the dentist. Maybe you need to go to the doctor. So not every month is going to be the same. I'm just showing you guys my day and what most of my days during the weekdays look like in terms of how much money I spent on lunch and how much money I spent during the weekdays. So here I am so far not spending very much money at all like at all. Huge key factor that keeps a lot of us expats in Vietnam is the lifestyle. I've never been anywhere else that compares to the dollar amount you make per hour to your living expenses. But so far with the brunch that I had this morning and the late lunch that I had just now, we have spent a total of $8.00. 11 cents so we still have $14 to go um, right now I have 30 more minutes of this podcast that I'm listening to so I'm gonna take a walk around the park I gotta go home I have two hours of teaching today so I gotta go into my English Center I'm gonna take you guys along with me Miss me? Yeah. No, she didn't. We ordered food, and another great tip for you guys is grab. It's kind of the same as uh, DoorDash in America, but mm -hmm. grab food, delivers food at relatively cheap rates. So my meal was 215,000 VND, and what is that in US? With the discount, it's only $7.87. Super cheap, and I got a phenomenal burger and fries. We're gonna go down and pick it up. Our grab driver is here. Down the river we go. Oh my God, you're in the way. you in the way. I gotta eat. <laughs> that should have fixed it, right? I actually kind of did. <laughs> Is that the nice one? Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, never mind, never mind. You ready to pay? Ready to pay? Yeah, I already paid. Oh, perfect. So you guys can also 
uh, link up your credit card and pre prepay for things. So it's easy. Just literally show up, grab your food, and you're gone. And the best part, in my opinion, because I don't like cash. Wait, I'm waiting for him to like confirm the order. Is you can just add a tip straight on the app. You can't see it, but yeah, you can add a tip straight on the app as well. All right, guys, so let's show you what $7 worth of a burger looks like here in Vietnam. Unpack the goods! This is your one. So guys, look at this burger. Wait for it, wait for it. She. <laughs> so you guys can see I got the Captain O Burger and got some onion rings. Look at this quality beef right here. Mmm. It's actually Australian beef. Australian beef. Mm some bacon, some of their sauce, got some fries. And all of that was, with Jeez. delivery, oh, like almost $8. $8, just absurd. And then we picked up some drinks along the way. I'll add up the totals, but first let's eat guys because me and Francis are starving. We got Harry Potter, the Chamber of Secrets. And the funny thing is, I don't want to admit this, but I just started watching Tony's Harry Potter. He's a noob. He's never seen Harry Potter before, so I'm educating. I literally, I literally watched the first movie two days ago. <laughs> so we are on a Harry Potter marathon. Let's eat. Mm, I'm hungry. So good morning, guys. Uh, I've been up for a few hours now, just catching up with some work. So let's go over the total cost that we spent in one day yesterday to see if we were able to meet our budget of $22 per day, which would allow us to spend under $1,000 per month minus rent, my phone bill, and my health insurance already. So yesterday we spent, I'm just looking at my computer, so if you notice me looking away, I need my computer. So uh, yesterday we spent $3.93 on that big delicious curry lunch. We spent 88 cents on some freshly squeezed orange juice. I went to the market to show you guys prices of the market and we spent $1.31 on a pound of potatoes. Later on, I went to the park. I picked up a small little lunch before work and that costed me $2.10 for two triangle sushi things and a water and a drink. I also spent $7.87 on dinner when we bought those burgers and fries. And along the way, we also stopped at the convenience store and we spent another $1.66 on water and juice to go with our meal. And that brings us to a total of, drum roll, $17.75. So yes, we were able to spend less than $22 that day. And if we did this for the rest of the month, we would spend less than $1,000 a month living here in Vietnam. And as you guys can see, it wasn't like I was eating the cheapest of the cheapest stuff to meet my budget, but I generally eat cheaper lunches and cheaper late lunches because I skip breakfast. I don't know why. And then I have a more expensive dinner near the end of the night. And even with the total that we spent, $17.75, still have $4.25 left over, and that can just be carried over to the next day. So, is it possible to live in Vietnam for under $1,000? Yes, it is. But again, guys, like I said, not every day will be a day where you can spend less than $22. You might have, you might have other expenses that come up. But in general, it is possible and why i'm saying it's possible is because you can find a cheaper place to live in you can also find cheaper food than i ate this day you can live very cheaply in vietnam and maybe spend less than even 800 dollars. so again very affordable to live in vietnam and i'm and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did again please like the video if you liked it if you disliked it you can dislike it as well if you want to help me out on this channel throw in a comment there Subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And until next time, guys, I'm glad you guys joined the journey with me yesterday and partly today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.